Hey guys, so I'm here today to talk to you about how to measure your mouse sensitivity. Why do I need to do this, you ask? Well, the thing about this is in the Counter-Strike community currently, I do see a lot of people telling others that their sensitivity is this DPI, this in-game sensitivity, but then you've got to actually factor in, okay, the drivers, the operating system, and there's, there's other factors as well, like even you know coming down to the sensor itself. Because what we're after really with when you're talking about mouse sensitivity is how does it feel? What is it like to play with? So to actually understand how to do this in the, in the most accurate and universally understood way possible, the best thing to do is to measure your sensitivity with a 360 uh, centimeters measurement essentially. So that's what we're gonna we're gonna go through today. It's pretty simple. So all you need is a measuring device such as a tape measure or a ruler, anything like that. And you want to go into the game, find a decal, something something that stands out on the on the map. Go and stand in front of it, put your mouse there, whack down the ruler or the tape measure onto your mouse pad horizontally, of course, and then you just want to go across across the mouse pad until you reach the point at which you started. And then you look down, of course, at the uh, the measuring device, and you'll see exactly how many centimeters it took for that 360 degrees turn. And now you know. Now you know your value. And now when you see the pro players and uh, you see that there's a list that says uh, sensitivities, there'll often be the 360 centimeter measurement as well. And you can see, okay, Scream uses this. And you, then you can now relatively understand how that feels and the difference in feeling that has to what you're using, even if you've got a completely different setup when it comes to the mouse, the mouse pad, and all those kinds of things, you can get a really good idea. So that's it, guys. I hope that helped you. And remember to uh, stay tuned onto this channel because we'll be delivering lots more content like this in the near future. And uh, well, that's all from me for now. See you later.